Visible is a network visualization tool for the web. The interface enables analysts to perform exploratory visual analytics without a background in network science. This interface works across multiple devices and is built with open source technology. To ensure our software worked with real data, we acquired information about cellular communications towers in the Ivory Coast. These data come from the Data for Development Challenge and represent the activity of over 5 million mobile phone users. The comma and tab separated values files are then processed to remove special characters and select subsets of the data suitable for use on the web. The newly created CSV file is then passed to a Python program. Here, the NetworkX library assembles the nodes and links of the network and calculates various statistics. This information is then exported in JSON format. Recalculating and creating new networks is made easier by wrapping this process within a bash script that can be run whenever new data or subsets are desired. The JSON files are then read by the tool which uses D3 to visualize the network and its characteristics. A map view based on leaflet and map box displays the geographic distribution of the network. Let's take a look at Invisible in Action. Here is the main interface of Invisible. It shows the network that has been created from cellular communications towers within a small subset of our data. Once the network has loaded, users can begin exploring its characteristics. Hovering a node displays the statistics that have been calculated for that particular node. In addition to the basic information for each node, such as tower ID, number of calls, and total call duration within one hour, network data are also available. These include the number of neighbors for that node, its betweenness centrality, and its clustering coefficient. The size of each node is determined by its call duration. Node color represents the betweenness centrality of a node, which is indicative of the overall importance of that node within the network. To the upper right of the network view, overall characteristics are displayed. These are the number of nodes and edges in the network, plus information about the average degree of the network, the overall clustering coefficient, and the mean shortest path length. Below this, the degree distribution shows the probability for any of the included degrees, or number of neighbors for a node, to occur. A tab along the top allows users to switch to the map view. Here, the geographic arrangement of the cell towers is displayed. As in the network view, users can hover nodes to learn more about them. Users can interact with the map to zoom in and explore the data further. Let's get a better look at this cluster in the south. By enabling consistent interactivity across views, we've made Invisible as intuitive as possible. We hope that analysts and others interested in network data will find it to be a valuable tool. Thank you for viewing our project and feel free to contact us with any comments or questions.